Hello students, in this video, we are going to learn about barrel shifter. Now, previous videos, we saw about adder as well as multiplier. We saw various varieties of adders and array multiplier. So now we will be seeing about the shifting operation through a shifter architecture named as barrel shifter. So now, what is shifting and why do we need shifting? See the simple example that we used for multiplication. See, multiplications are nothing but an arithmetic operation. So for performing a normal arithmetic operation, that is so-called I'm using for example multiplication, what has happened? My partial products were generated after that, the second set of partial product was aligned in such a way to the left shift through one bit. I was shifting my partial product that the generated partial product left through one bit. So one bit was left shifted. So who is going to do all this operation? Just like that, the computer cannot go for shifting. When we are calculating it manually, we know we must write it one bit to the left. Whereas our, mul whereas our computer do not know that we have to do all these operations. So a separate structure is there and that is nothing but a shifter. So as I said that shifting operations are so important and it is extensively used for arithmetic shifting, logical shifting, rotation or for data alignment and also, and also for address generation. So shifting left or right is a trivial process. Okay, we can either shift it right or we can shift it left. So now we are going to see about the structure so-called barrel shifter. The barrel shifter does the shifting operation. So what it is made up of? It is consisting of an array of transmission gate. Okay, I said an array of transmission gate. So we will be having number of rows and number of columns. So in all the rows, we'll be having the transmission gates and the same way the number of columns also will be having the transmission gates. So how many number of rows we must have in our barrel shifter? So consider that number of rows must be equal to the word length of the data. Means if I am having four bit data that has to be shifted, then I can go Based on that, suppose I'm having four bit data that has to be shifted. It means I'm having four number of rows in my barrel structure. And the number of columns must be equal to the maximum shift width. So if I have to shift four bits, okay, it means I will be doing four columns. So number of rows is equal to the word length and the number of columns will be equal to the maximum shift width. If I'm saying that it is a four cross four barrel shifter, it means I will be having four rows and four columns. The control wires will be there because I'm saying that it is an array of transmission gates. So the transmission gates are nothing but they are a normal N MOSFETs. So I will be having a control wires. Only when my control signal is on, whatever data is there on my left hand side will be passed towards the right hand side or whatever data is there on my right hand side will be passed to the left side. It depends. Okay. So now the control signals are routed diagonally through the array. What is that array? It will be having a transmission gate. So for turning on my transmission gate, I'm giving certain control signals that I'm calling as control wires. What is the advantage of these type of shifters? See that the signal has to pass through at most one transmission gate, meaning the signal that I'm passing, the control wires has to pass through at most one transmission gate. So the signal that I'm giving will be passing through at most one transmission gate. So if we know the delay of a particular transmission gate, then I can say for sure my propagation delay will be constant. Okay, and it is independent of the shift size because it is passing through at most one transmission gate. Mind that it is at most one transmission gate. So my propagation delay will be constant and it is independent of your shift size. Even if you increase the number of shift size, 
my delay is not going to change so this is a type of uh, barrel shifter and this is the advantage of this barrel shifter also so see i am taking two inputs the inputs four bit inputs so starting from a0 to a3 mind that i have taken as a0 a1 a2 a3 don't confuse that okay and output as b0 b1 b2 b3 the four data if suppose my input data is 1010 okay my first one is my a0 and second zero is my a1 and the third one is a2 and the last zero is a3 if i am for example i'm saying if my input is 1010 and i have to do the shifting operation through barrel shifter what are my outputs outputs i am naming as b0 b1 b2 b3 mind that these are the names that i have just given don't change the lsb and msb bits a0 stands for msb and your a3 is your lsb okay and now the control signal what i am going to give as a control signal my control signals are going to shift 0 shift 1 shift 2 shift 3 so what are the number of shifts we have is 4 starting from 0 to 3 so the control signal is are named as shift 0 shift 1 shift 2 shift 3 and these control signals are going to hit the n mosfets or our transmission gates now the number of rows i said that it is equal to the word length of data and the number of columns so equal to the maximum shift width okay this is the summary we must know before we step into the structure of our shift shifter so now see the shifting operation see if these shift signals named as sh0 that is shift 0 shift 1 shift 2 shift 3 are mutually exclusive means at one time only one particular signal will be turning on if suppose my first signal sh0 is on obviously all other shift signals shift 1 shift 2 shift 3 is going to turn off if my shift signal 1 is turned on it means all the remaining signals will be turned off so the shift signals are mutually exclusive now if hi means what if the particular shift signal sh0 for example is high what i said b is nothing but my output a is nothing but my input see here first this if there is shift 0 means i am not going to give any shift so what i must get in my input and output the input and my output will be the same a is nothing but your input and b is nothing but your output so i am going to give a c a is my input and b is my output so if shift zero signal is turned on it means no operation so a not will be passed into the b not a1 will be passed directly into b1 a2 will be passed to b2 and a3 is passed to b3 now if i am making if sh1 is high if shift one signal is high meaning there is one bit shift to my left okay so what i have done see the value that is stored in a1 okay see here a1 the data which is there in a1 will be shifted one bit to the left so it is coming to here a1 and again a2 will move from here and a3 here so what will be placed in a3 this place will be added with the last bit of your input what was the last bit in your input a3 so a3 is just copied in the last place which is empty and shift 2 if my shift 2 signal is high what is going to happen my data is going to shift left by two bits means what is there just take first signal because this is a normal data a not a1 a2 a3 so i'm going to shift two bits so what is going to happen from a2 will jump to a1 again from a1 it will jump to a not so two bit shifting so a2 a3 okay so a2 or else you just take from the here shift 1 so again this is one bit shifted data again if i want to shift it by one more bit what will happen a2 will jump here a3 will jump to the previous one and a3 again it will jump over here and these are the nothing empty so i can write as a3 again and now shift 3 what is going to happen this is two bit shifted value so just shifted by left by one bit so a3 will come to b not and again these are empty so i can just copy the last bit of your input okay don't think that you can copy the remaining data the so last bit of your data will be passed here whenever the places of empty places okay so now this is all about the shifting operation with all these things as uh, basics we shall move on to the structure of barrel shifter see here this is a 4 cross 4 barrel shifter 
if i show you this type of diagram you will be confused much okay see here there are a3 a2 a1 a0 lines and sh0 sh1 sh2 sh3 and you can't understand what the connections are so before moving into the original structure of barrel shifter let me show you a simple structure it is same see now you may think that this diagram is so easy to understand than this but both this diagram are the same i will show you how these both diagrams are the same now see what are the inputs a0 a1 a2 a3 are the inputs what are the control signal shift 0 shift 1 shift 2 shift 3 what is your output b0 b1 b2 b3 consider the first row okay this row as b3 and the second as b2 third is b1 the last is b0 so b0 b1 b2 b3 see i am not just showing the arrow mark it doesn't mean that you are going to feed b3 mind that b3 is the output b2 is also output b1 is also output b0 is also output i'm just showing this row is for dedicated to b0 and this row dedicated to b1 and so on so now consider now i'm just going to give the circuit connection for this shift 0 okay so now for shift 0 input is a0 output is b0 input is a1 output is b1 input is a2 output is b2 input is a3 output is b3 see here and the control signals are shift 0 here if it is four cross four barrel shifter just draw four rows and four columns okay just draw easily you can draw four rows and four columns and place a transistor in each and every cell so place a transistor or n mosfet in each and every cell so i have placed first all the transistors okay just put the grid and just put the transistors now what i am going to do see here first i said that i am just going to give the connection for shift 0 and previously itself we learned in the previous slides that we are going to give the control signals diagonally through the array which means what is diagonal connection these are diagonals okay so now for shift zero signal just mind that we are going to give shift zero shift zero shift zero and shift zero diagonally through the array now i have to give the inputs and the output so whenever the shift zero is come what is that whatever the data is there in a not will be going to b not okay see here whatever data is there in a not will be going to b not and next whatever data is there in a1 is going to b1 this transistor whatever data is there in a2 is going to b2 whatever data is there in a3 is going to b3 see here a3 b3 a2 b2 a1 b1 a0 b0 and then for shift 1 what is there to the left side i can write a1 a1 b0 a2 b1 a3 b2 a3 b3 see here the signal is shift 1 a1 b0 a2 b1 a3 b2 okay and then all the terms has been completed so now where i can draw the uh, remaining signal i can draw the remaining signal in this place what is that particular place i can call okay see now for this for shift 1 operation same way i have diagonally passed my data so one shift one shift one we have four inputs okay so first input what was the first block a1 is the input b0 is your output okay is it clear a1 is your input and b0 is your output see here a1 is the input b0 is the output and again the next block what is that a2 is the input b1 is the output a2 is the input b1 is the output and third one what is that a3 is the input b2 is the output a3 is the input p2 is the output and what is the last one what is the last one which is again a3 is the input b3 is the output so what is it a3 is the input and b3 is the output so which is giving shift 1 so i can use this which is a3 as the input and b3 because i am saying this is the line for b3 so i have placed this i have first completed this diagonal again i have completed shift 1 diagonal and the remaining one more input will be there that i have kept is here and again i have to do for shift 2 so diagonal operation so shift 2 shift 2 again a2 is the input b0 is the output a3 is the input b1 is the output but we have how many inputs four inputs so where i have to keep two more see again i have placed the shift 2 here and here diagonal connection and again the last one shift 3 so the empty column is this 
and here we will be having three more empty place and you can keep the diagonal connection of shift 3 that is given as a3 b1 and this what is this just observe it what will be this shift 3 what is it shift 3 is nothing but it will be giving with a3 see for shift 3 connection all your inputs are a3 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 so a3 will be connected to b0 a3 to b1 a3 to b2 a3 to b3 see here a3 to b0 a3 where are the shift 3 signals a3 to b1 here also a3 to b2 a3 to b3 <coughs> okay this is a normal barrel shifter now what the connections will be all your control signals must be connected together all your output signals has to be connected together and all your inputs has to be connected together means all your a3s must be connected together a2 must be connected together a1 must be connected together a0 must be connected together in the same way it goes for b's also and the control wires also that is what given over here in this structure if you see this operation you just see shift 0 okay shift 0 signal and one is connected to which line a0 see here don't confuse this is the only connection here we don't have any connection don't think that b0 is connected with b0 the connection is there only in a0 line so a0 is connected with b0 again here what are the two connection a1 is connected with b1 again what is this a2 is connected with b2 what is this a3 is connected with b3 consider uh, we can randomly take a transistor consider this transistor so on seeing this transistor you say me what are the inputs and output this is shift 2 and the one is what is the one of one one of my input one of my input is a3 and one of one more is b2 so in this this transistor what is have been written which is nothing but a3 and b2 is it correct a3 and b2 it's correct so now we shall see for this uh, we have already seen shift 0 so we assume that we can take this transistor okay this third row I mean fourth row third column is nothing but input is a2 output is b0 see here shift 2 input is what is the input input is a2 see it comes from here input is a2 and the output is b0 input is a2 output is b0 don't think that i have taken input from here and not from here it is going over here and we have taken the connection common from a2 so here a0 a1 a2 a3 are your inputs and this is nothing but a normal buffer so the direct data will be there in your output so b3 b2 b1 b0 so this is a complete four cross four barrel shifter if you find this diagram is so difficult for you to understand or to draw you can just directly draw this but mind that all your shift signals and the common a's and b's must be connected together so this is all about your barrel shifter i hope you understood the structure of barrel and in next video we shall see about unit 4 thank you